The simple reason is because they do not care. They don't. They don't care. Why would they care? Why would they care that a fellow human being is being treated horribly by, their, uh, by another fellow human being? Why would they care? I mean, why? If I say it like that, you're supposed to care because he's a fellow human being. But what if I said, you see your own, you see a black man getting treated horribly by a white man and then you sort of understand somehow like oh yeah I mean white people don't help black people that's a lie that is why and also the reason why is because they are racist themselves they are th there's no sugar coat in this they are racist starting from the the the, the owners of the clubs all the way down to the whitest man in the squad they are all racist in one way or another leagues that these players actually play in are even worse they can try by all means to try and sugarcoat it saying that they care and that they care about racism and they're trying to stop it but they don't they don't they just don't because I mean if you did care you know, before I even go to if they did care, let me just bring out a point and why I'm starting this entire argument. In the past one month, okay, one month is too long. Uh, the past, the past two and a half weeks, we have heard, we've heard a lot of terrible news that football players have done and that they have been rightfully charged for. Sort of like in the past, uh, we heard about Benjamin Mendy's cases uh, we've also heard of Mason Greenwood's cases and we also heard of Kurt Zuma's you know animal mistreatment all these three players have been have been cancelled on Twitter have been charged in one way or another Benjamin and Mason are facing serious jail time after this but oh yeah and uh, Kurt Zuma has also been fined and his animals have been repossessed. But when it comes to racism, have you ever heard anyone given a jail sentence referring to racism? Have you ever heard anyone being charged for racism formally? There's been an investigation, they have been taken to court, they've been given X amount of years in prison or days. Have you ever? No. Do you know why? Because why would they? Because if we cared about racism, we would have added a law long time ago referring to the ill treatment of any ethnic of any ethnic group and slap a jail sentence on each and every one of them who's getting that. I'm Zambian, so I know what I'm talking about. I've researched this and that Racism doesn't have a charge. You cannot be you cannot be formally charged for racism in a court. The only way you can be charged for racism is if, for example, you work outside football, you work in a in a firm, and you are ill treating a, a man of a man of color, uh, overworking him like a slave, and calling him names and all that, and then the person sues you for racial discrimination or for racial for for racial he just he sues you and then the only and then he doesn't get he doesn't basically get a jail sentence he just has to pay a fine and that's it and in football we have seen that multiple times of national of nation nations players uh clubs only play paying fines then sure it's good that UEFA are actually putting in some emphasis on this but the fines they are giving them right they can make that fine in one match day let's say a football player a football player let's say ex football player has been has been has been caught using racial slurs right and he's been fined by the FA let's say he plays in X league as well so this X player plays actually X player X player plays in Y league 
and the Y League has decided to fine X player X amount of euros or US dollars or whatever currency they use. Let's say X player is a very good player. He's a player of who is financially fortunate. He gets paid half a million a week, 500,000 euros a week, and he's been fined 100k euros. He's going to make that in a fucking week. You see how stupid that this fine system is. If you want to find someone, Find them huge sums of money so that they can get bankrupt because they don't deserve to have that money. If you want to find someone, why don't, them, why don't you find them a million? Hmm? Why don't you find them a hundred million? Why don't you find them one billion euros? Because it doesn't make sense for them to keep, to keep on playing this beautiful game while they have abused a player who didn't choose to be that color, mind you. He is just playing the sport you're playing. You're co-workers, and you decide to racially abuse him, and you think you, and you, ex-player, decide you are way better than this, th than the, the player you just abused, and you go on to have a nice career, you have like five Champions Leagues, uh, some Ballon d'Or, some other shit, while well, that player that you racially abused, the love for the game is gone. He's heartbroken. He's been treated ill, and he's lost his confidence. There's nothing he can do to stop this. Because if one player does it, obviously the other player does it. Let's say out of five players that, that abuse this, this, uh, this football player of color, only one is reported, and that is the X player we're talking about. These are the four will go scot-free without even getting fined, without getting charged in any single way. And oh, the easy answer for you, you, you just go like, oh, then why doesn't he just go to the FA? You think the FA cares? You think the FA are gonna take the time to write, to listen to a man who's been abused of his color, you think they're going to take the time to write a report, to make an investigation, to involve the police? You think they have the time? You think? Because, how um, so you think players don't do that? I'm pretty sure almost half the players that have been abused in, in, any, in any league system has gone to the FA, has gone to their CEOs. You think they haven't? They have. They have written formal reports, they have got they've got into their owners, they have talked to them about it, but you know what the owners just say? Oh yes, why are you here? Um uh I uh I I, I, I got I got racially abused. I got caught a monkey and there were monkey monkey chants and they kept abusing me of my colour. Ah uh, uh okay, so what you should do is I want you to write a two thousand word letter essay explaining about the situation and make sure that it's punctuated and it's got full stops in every after 10 sentences. What? I'm going to make sure that it has been signed by the perpetrator and the perpetrator's parents, the grandparents, niece, nephews, aunties, cousins, nephews, aunties, cousins, uh, uh, extended nephews, extended cousins, extended every, every single person should have as you have signed that document. Okay, that's the only way we consider it. I can leave my office now. See? Either they're not going to pay attention or they're just going to give you some dumb reason why they can't or some weird shenanigan for you to do that will take a lot of time and it won't even solve the issue. While the perpetrator... <laughs> I got, I got, the, I got my transfer to Juventus. I'm not the richest, I'm not one of the richest players in the world. And... I earned a oh money more I'm going to win a Champions League. Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to win. Just look at this. Uh, I just want to win. 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 So to be honest, it's just that thing where the player that is suffering... Oh, sorry. Lights on. Uh, it became dark. The player who suffered the most is not going to get anything in return. 
The moment he writes that thing, uh, the player has been sold, he's gone to some other country, uh, like Avengers. And now you're gonna follow him and his family to sign the damn thing. So, what are you left with? You are left with a player that is emotionally destroyed, that is physically destroyed, that cannot play anymore because he's afraid of being taunted by other disgusting human beings that want to use the exact same analogy and just making him more depressed and depressed. I don't think I can see me. Yeah, let's fix this. Yeah, now I can see this. So, it's, it's really awful in that players who are racist, who have been racist in the past, who have been exposed to being racist, are still playing football. I think we remember the Usman Dembele and Griezmann situation. They were racist. They were racist on Asians, and we had a bunch of people trying to cancel them on Twitter. But are they cancelled? No. Are they still playing? Yes. And one idiot wants to earn 49 million euros for basically being on a treatment bed. So you've got these players who have been racist in the past, and they're still doing the racism thing. Just that we don't know if for sure. If 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 we had a law or if we had a way we could put these disgusting human beings in prison I don't think we would have football that's what the, the, the higher ups see because they think if they're going to take a little bit of their money they're going to make it they're going to make it very soon and then well, the world keeps moving and the money keeps coming in and all that other stuff if we charged every single footballer in the world who has been racist trust me they wouldn't be footballers anyway they won't be footballers in this world the, the idol, the footballer you like, yeah, yeah, he's a racist. He's a racist, but you just don't know about it because he's a racist private life. You don't know how he lives his private life. So he's probably a racist, a big one for that matter. You don't even know that. Do you know why? Because he hasn't been investigated. We know that Mason Greenwood is evil and that this has been going on for months because he was investigated. It was found that he has done this before, all right? Of course, it's all speculation because people are like, you know, what this, this and that, but then if you record something, meaning you've done it before in the past. So with the investigation, the investigation proved that because he's because he, she recorded it, meaning it is, she's done it before in the past, she's done it before. So if we had these racists investigated for this one racial comment, we would have found that they've had more racial comments in their entirety of their footballing lives. But we're never gonna find that out, are we? We're just going to keep moving around, play, praising these footballers when they score magnificent goals and have magnificent celebrations when we don't even know how they leave their life at home. Now, the reason why I decided to talk about this is because it's disgusting how people are jump, are really fast at jumping the train in trying to. Uh, cancel the footballers that have been charged for their crimes, rightly so, but the racists are never talked about. This is something that is really passionate and is something I'm really passionate about because racism is the most disgusting fire act in the world. Even beating this, racism has been there since the dawn of time. We thought racism was banished, but it's back. And I just want you to have that in your head, that players are racist. FAs are racist. Governing bodies of football are racist. National teams are racist and countries, continents, and entire globes are racist. We just have to tell the difference. Are we racist or not? And for that, I say thank you for watching this video. I'm not going to add anything like socials or annotations or anything because this video is sensitive to me and I would like to take it in all seriousness even though I had skates but I want to take I've taken this video in all seriousness and 
I hope you can take it in all seriousness too. Think about it. Just have a thought. Maybe spend a couple minutes just contemplating on this. Because it's something that has happened. It's something that does happen all the time. So, thank you.